Welcome to Warden's Word. I'm Dave Breisch, Senior Warden at New Creation Anglican Church. In previous episodes of Warden's Word, we've looked at several words, including believing, faith, trust, confidence, and almighty. One of the words I'd like us to focus on today is waiting. And I thank you for waiting. Now, waiting is a part of our everyday lives for each of us. Uh, We wait for something to arrive. We wait for an event to start. We wait for someone to show up. And usually what happens, the longer it takes for any of those to occur, the more impatient we become. And we get frustrated and we become anxious, might even become angry. If we can't wait, we want it now. We want it to start now. We want that person to be here now. And for us Christians, unfortunately, too many of us bring those tendencies into our Christian lives. But we read in Psalm 27, verse 14, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. And one of the areas in our lives as Christians where we need to really develop this discipline of waiting for the Lord with the help of the Holy Spirit is in our prayer life. We're good about bringing our requests to God, making those requests either for ourselves or for other people known to Him. And we want Him to answer those requests now. We want an immediate answer, whether to hear it or to have a visible answer, something to occur that shows that God heard and answered our prayer. But God doesn't always act that way. In the second letter of Peter, chapter 3, verse 8, we read, But do not forget this one thing, dear friends. With the Lord, a day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years are like a day. So time is much different for us than it is for God. And so, When we make our requests known to God, what's required of us is to wait. And part of that discipline of waiting should be in our prayer times, waiting in silence, waiting to hear God speak. He says, be still and know that I am God. And we need to learn how to be still, to listen for the quiet voice of God to speak to us. And however that is that he chooses to speak to each one of us so that each of us as an individual know his voice and hear his voice when he speaks. You know, we're in this the last days of the Easter season, this coming Sunday is Pentecost. And Jesus told his disciples to wait 50 days for the promised gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow, 50 days. How many of us would consider waiting 50 days? But God has his own time, his plan. And so, We need to become patient with him, just like he is patient with us, and to wait upon him. And in prayer time, we need to set aside some time of silence where we're not speaking, we're not thinking, we're not reading, we're not listening to to music or to someone else. It's just silence waiting to hear the voice of God, wanting to hear the voice of God, longing to want to hear the voice of God speak. 
to reveal himself to us. What a joy that is when we hear the voice of the Lord. What a joy that is. So with the help of the Holy Spirit, we can do this. And so my prayer is that we would each have this desire to have this silent time with God, quiet time. And again, with the help of the Holy Spirit to be patient as we wait upon the Lord. Wait to hear Him, and then wait to see Him in action. So wait, my friends. God will answer. Thank you.